Hey guys, this is tutorial number two for getting started with Unity. Uh, I touched on this at the end of the last video um, when I said about importing your assets. I'm actually going to show you how to do that now. But I'm just showing you here on the Unity website under Editor, Unity Editor, Asset Pipeline. You can see all the different file types that are supported. 3D Package Support, Maya, and 3D Studio Max, obviously the, uh, probably the biggest ones. But you have meshes, textures, animations, and bones. Image formats right here, and you can actually import PSD files and TIFF files. And here's all different audio uh, formats. So let me just get started here. Um, to import a file, you just go up here to the main menu, Assets, and then Import New Asset. And I'm going to import a file here. It's a little, it's not the best example, but it's actually, I don't have that much to show. So let me just import this one. And there's going to be a few errors with it, but I'll show you what those are. And when you import stuff, it pops up right here in your project. So these are all the assets in the game, whether it's scripts, scenes, uh, textures, whatever, you name it. It's all under the project file. And what happens here in the hierarchy, this is the stuff in your scene itself. So when I grab my, my wyvern that just popped up down here, I just drag him over there. And now you'll see he's in my scene, uh, in my hierarchy. And I can manipulate it like I showed you last video using those different things. And you'll notice when I imported him, for it, um, it brought along all of the stuff that was in the max file. So it imported the biped with all of its different bones, and you can see here, for example. And again, this uh, is a little messed up, the biped itself. But you can see here, if it were actually working correctly, you can manipulate it right here. And it also imported uh, the mesh itself. The one thing it didn't import, as you'll see here, is the texture. There's no texture. So you go to Assets again, Import New Asset, and then you find your texture. In this case, it's my PSD file. I click Import, and then there it is. Now again, I said this um, model is a little bit messed up because uh, it's like two different objects. So it'll try to apply the same texture to this mesh right here, um, when there's actually no texture. So I could just uh, basically remove that texture there. And then, so you want to make sure when you import stuff that it's uh, that it's done right. Otherwise, it's going to mess all kinds of stuff up. So make sure your your rig is good and that your texturing is good and all that. Whoops! Actually, change the whole thing. Yeah. So make sure everything's uh, working before you import it. Otherwise, it's going to be really tough to to work with. And then you'll see here. There's a few. Again, when you go to your uh, your uh, inspector, you'll see all the different uh, settings here. The shader, which includes the uh, texture that we use and all that stuff, size, position, all that other stuff. But again, this is if you have your models to import. So I'm going to erase this for now. Just remove it completely. Whoops. I just moved something that I shouldn't have moved. Let me up. Okay, I just had to pause there for a second because I moved something I shouldn't have anyway. So I'm just going to get rid of the my model here. Select it here. So I'm removing it from the scene, and I'm removing it from the project altogether. I don't want it in there. So then, if you want to just create some objects, there's a few different things you can create, and they're called game objects, which are things that you can uh, assign certain components to. For example, you can create an empty one, which is actually it's nothing, but you can always attach different things to that. Um, the basics I showed you, which are the shapes, which are right here: cube, sphere, you know, basic objects. And then you have uh, a few different ones, like starting from the top, you have particle system. And I'm not going to get into exactly all the workings of these yet. But here you can see that you can edit all these different settings, and I recommend that you play with these just to see what they do. Um, but this is, you know, you can use this to make beams, you can use it to make fire, smoke, whatever. And then you can create a camera. In this case, we already have a camera, but I'm just going to show you. And you'll notice that when I move the camera, it actually shows me a preview of what the camera sees. So you can move the camera to where you want it, and you can see exactly what it's looking at. And then you can create um, text for your user interface, text or texture for your user interface, or just plain 3D text, which you can edit right here. And one thing to notice about it is that it goes, it, it basically shows up on the top as if it were a layer, no matter where it's actually positioned. So just keep that in mind. But here you can edit it to change it to, uh, like for example, Hydra. Interactive Studios or the Dev Club. 
change the font and all that other stuff right there. Then you also have the lights. You have a point light, which is a radio light. This is the center of it, and then you can change the uh, its uh, radius by dragging this little shell it has around it. So you just choose one of the points, like that one, and drag it. And then you also have uh, a couple other different ones. You have the spotlight, which is just that. It's a spotlight. You can change the angle, the intensity, a bunch of other stuff. You can play with that. Then you also have the directional light. This is like a sun, so it doesn't matter where you place it. See, it's not making a difference. The one thing that matters is its orientation. So imagine if we're, if we're the sun, basically it casts a huge blanket of light. It's just the direction that it comes from that matters. And we have a couple other things that I won't really get into until later, later on, but you have a few different things, like you can create cloth, trees, ragdolls, and wind zones. These are like more physics related, so I won't get into these right away. Um, but for now, there should be plenty of, to play with. Um, I recommend getting into the lights and just playing with the different settings. And a very fun one to play with is the particle system, and I'll probably do a tutorial on this one specifically a little bit later on, but for now, you can mess with creating different objects, lighting them, and then you can always just go into your uh, the play mode, and then just see what it looks like. Just remember to set your camera to where you want it, because you can actually control the game in here until later on. So I hope this was helpful. See you next time.